Let's now understand some basic terminology around Uber. This will help us answer some of the multiple choice questions that we get later at ease. App openings or eyeballs. These are the number of customers who launch the Uber app looking for vehicles. App openings is a good measure of demand. More on this later. Zeros. These are the number of customers who open the app and see no Uber cars in the area. Requests are the number of customers who actually make requests for an Uber car. Again, another good measure of demand. A completed trip is the point from when a customer is picked up and dropped off successfully. Completion rate is the percentage of requests to the completed trips. Peak hours are rush hours when demand is high. Driver supply represents the number of drivers on the road that are unoccupied. They are online and ready to go. ETA or wait time is the time a customer has to wait to be picked up by a driver. ETA stands for estimated time of arrival. Idle time is the amount of time a driver has to wait between trips. Peak time is time when demand is extremely high. And a working shift or work day for a driver is normally the work shift of a driver, usually eight to 10 hours. When does he or she work? Riders are nothing but passengers in the vehicle. Drivers are rideshare partners, people who drive the car. A dispatch is a request for a car made by a potential passenger from the app. And the fare is the amount paid by the passenger. Finally, you've got two other metrics, PETA and AETA. PETA stands for Predicted Estimated Time of Arrival. PETA shows the estimated by an algorithm value of the expected time of arrival of that package. And AETA stands for Average Actual Estimated Time of Arrival. It shows the actual value of the time of arrival of the car. So keep all these metrics in mind because they're gonna be super useful when we answer the multiple choice questions later on in the course.